In geometry, Thales theorem states that if A, B, and C are distinct points on a circle where the line AC is a diameter, then the angle ABC is a right angle. Thales' theorem is a special case of the inscribed angle theorem, and is mentioned and proved as part of the 31st proposition, in the third book of Euclid's Elements. It is generally attributed to Thales of Miletus, who is said to have offered an ox probably to the god Apollo as a sacrifice of thanksgiving for the discovery, but sometimes it is attributed to Pythagoras. History There is nothing extant of the writing of Thales. Work done in ancient Greece tended to be attributed to men of wisdom without respect to all the individuals involved in any particular intellectual constructions this is true of Pythagoras especially. Attribution did tend to occur at a later time. Reference to Thales was made by Proclus, and by Diogenes Laetius documenting Pamphila's statement that Thales Indian and Babylonian mathematicians knew this for special cases before Thales proved it. It is believed that Thales learned that an angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle during his travels to Babylon. The theorem is named after Thales because he was said by ancient sources to have been the first to prove the theorem, using his own results that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, and that the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Dante's Paradiso Canto 13, lines 101 to 102 refers to Thales's theorem in the course of a speech. Topic Proof Topic First Proof The following facts are used the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to one hundred and eighty degrees and the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Since OA Topic OB OC, increment OBA and increment OBC are isosceles triangles, and by the equality of the base angles of an isosceles triangle, OBC. Topic OCB and BOW ABO Let alpha Topic Bow and Beta OBC. The three internal angles of the increment ABC triangle are alpha, alpha plus beta, and beta. Since the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we have alpha plus alpha plus beta plus beta equals 180 display style alpha plus left alpha plus beta right plus beta equals 180 caret circ 2 alpha plus 2 beta equals 180 Display style two alpha plus two beta equals one hundred and eighty carat circ two alpha plus beta equals one hundred and eighty Display style two alpha plus beta equals one hundred and eighty carat circ alpha plus Beta equals ninety. Display style. Therefore, alpha plus beta equals ninety carat circ. QED.
Topic: <laughs> Second proof. The theorem may also be proven using trigonometry. Let O equals zero zero display style O equals zero zero a equals minus one zero display style a equals minus one zero and c equals one zero display style c equals one zero then b is a point on the unit circle cos theta sin theta display style cos theta sin theta we will show that increment ABC forms a right angle by proving that AB and BC are perpendicular that is, the product of their slopes is equal to minus 1. We calculate the slopes for AB and BC M A B equals Y B minus Y a x b minus x a equals sin theta cos theta plus one Display style M underscore A B equals frac Y underscore B Y underscore A X underscore B X underscore A equals frac sin theta cos theta plus one and M B C equals Y B minus Y C X B minus X C equals sin theta cos theta minus one Display style M underscore B C equals frac Y underscore B Y underscore C X underscore B X underscore C equals frac sin theta cos theta minus one. Then we show that their product equals minus one M A B M B C equals sin theta cos theta plus 1 sin theta cos theta minus 1 equals sin 2 theta Cos two theta minus one equals sin two theta minus sin two theta equals minus one. Display style begin aligned and m underscore a b c d o t m underscore b c and equals frac sin theta cos theta plus one c d o t frac sin theta cos theta minus one and equals frac sin carrot two theta cos carrot two theta minus one and equals frac sin carrot two theta sin carrot two theta and equals minus one end aligned note the use of the Pythagorean trigonometric identity sin two theta plus cos two theta equals one display style sin carrot two theta plus cos carrot two theta equals one topic third proof let a b 
C display style ABC be a triangle in a circle where a B display style AB is a diameter in that circle then construct a new triangle a B D display style abd by mirroring triangle a B C display style ABC over the line a B display style AB and then mirroring it again over the line perpendicular to a B display style AB which goes through the center of the circle since lines a C display style AC and B D display style BD a parallel likewise for a D display style AD and C B display style CB the quadrilateral a C B D display style a C B D is a parallelogram since lines a B display style a B and C D display style C D are both diameters of the circle and therefore are equal length, the parallelogram must be a rectangle. All angles in a rectangle are right angles. Converse For any triangle whatsoever, there is exactly one circle containing all three vertices of the triangle. Sketch of proof. The locus of points equidistant from two given points is a straight line that is called the perpendicular bisector of the line segment connecting the points. The perpendicular bisectors of any two sides of a triangle intersect in exactly one point. This point must be equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. This circle is called the circumcircle of the triangle. One way of formulating Thales's theorem is, if the center of a triangle's circumcircle lies on the triangle then the triangle is right, and the center of its circumcircle lies on its hypotenuse. The converse of Thales's theorem is then, the center of the circumcircle of a right triangle lies on its hypotenuse. Equivalently, a right triangle's hypotenuse is a diameter of its circumcircle. This converse is also true. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Proof of the converse using geometry. This proof consists of completing the right triangle to form a rectangle and noticing that the center of that rectangle is equidistant from the vertices and so is the center of the circumscribing circle of the original triangle. It utilizes two facts. Adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary, add to 180 degrees and the diagonals of a rectangle are equal and cross each other in their median point. Let there be a right angle ABC, RA line parallel to BC passing by A and SA line parallel to AB passing by C. Let D be the point of intersection of lines R and S. Note that it has not been proven that D lies on the circle. The quadrilateral ABCD forms a parallelogram by construction as opposite sides are parallel. 
Since in a parallelogram adjacent angles are supplementary add to 180 degrees and ABC is a right angle 90 degrees then angles bad BCD and ADC are also right 90 degrees consequently ABCD is a rectangle Let O be the point of intersection of the diagonals AC and BD then the point O, by the second fact above, is equidistant from A, B, and C and so O is center of the circumscribing circle, and the hypotenuse of the triangle AC is a diameter of the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Alternate proof of the converse using geometry Given a right triangle ABC with hypotenuse AC, construct a circle omega whose diameter is AC. Let O be the center of omega, let D be the intersection of omega and the ray ob. By Thales's theorem, ADC is right. But then D must equal B if D lies inside increment ABC, ADC would be obtuse, and if D lies outside increment ABC, ADC would be acute. <laughs> Proof of the converse using linear algebra This proof utilizes two facts. Two lines form a right angle if and only if the dot product of their directional vectors is zero, and the square of the length of a vector is given by the dot product of the vector with itself. Let there be a right angle ABC and circle M with AC as a diameter. Let M center lie on the origin, for easier calculation. Then we know. A equals minus C, because the circle centered at the origin has AC as diameter, and A minus B, B minus C equals zero, because ABC is a right angle. It follows zero. Topic A minus B, B minus C. A minus B B plus A equals a two minus B two hence a equals B. This means that A and B are equidistant from the origin, i.e. from the center of M since A lies on M, so does B, and the circle M is therefore the triangle's circumcircle. The above calculations in fact establish that both directions of Thales's theorem are valid in any inner product space. Topic generalizations and related results Thales's theorem is a special case of the following theorem given three points A, B and C on a circle with center O the angle AOC is twice as large as the angle ABC C inscribed angle the proof of this theorem is quite similar to the proof of Thales's theorem given above a related result to Thales's theorem is the following, if AC is a diameter of a circle, then, if B is inside the circle, then ABC greater than 90 degrees if B is on the circle, then ABC equals 90 degrees if B is outside the circle, then ABC. Application Thales's theorem can be used to construct the tangent to a given circle that passes through a given point see figure. We can refer to the image beside, this is one of the cases where Thales's theorem is used very frequently. Thales's theorem can also be used to find the center of a circle using an object with a right angle, such as a set square or rectangular sheet of paper larger than the circle. The angle is placed anywhere on its circumference figure one. The intersections of the two sides with the circumference define a diameter figure two. Repeating this with a different set of intersections yields another diameter figure three. The center is at the intersection of the diameters.
Topic See also Synthetic geometry equals equals notes